Welcome back to everyone's series. Favorite series, maybe? I don't know. It's cool. Uh, uh, rating your reptile stuff, your enclosures, your rooms, whatever you post on Instagram, hashtag go herping review. This is episode 16. I think this is like the longest going series I've had. So let's jump into it with thankfully a very nice enclosure. I was kind of disappointed last time, but this looks really nice. Preemptively, I'm going to guess this is a five star. Let's jump into it. I like the room. I mean, man, this is nice. I don't even know what's in it yet. Impression tortoise. Now we know. Yeah, this is just a neat enclosure. And the, this tortoise is pyramiding, it looks like. It's so hard to avoid pyramiding with tortoises, is my understanding. Like, I feel like 90% of the tortoises kept end up pyramiding, which is where you can kind of see as they grow their shell, there's like a ridge that builds and it kind of shrinks and it turns into so if you've ever seen like really big tortoises at a zoo they probably have all these little pyramids which is from an assortment of um issues which is not supposed to happen but it seems to just happen with so many tortoises but that's not what this is about this is about this really nice room look at that floor look at that carpet i think i've seen that at target look at this is just a nice piece of furniture let alone is it oh is it two separate enclosures it's so symmetrical i like the shelves every the, the accent wall the lights this is five, five star room, five star enclosure. That's a total of 10 stars. Thank you, because last episode kind of sucked, but this is nice. Moving on, very skinny Pac-Man frog. Oh, maybe it's just small. Well, it is skinny, but maybe it's also small. Uh, big enclosure though, it's, it's, I mean, that's probably just a t 20, 10 gallon. People don't usually give them that much space. Yeah, so it's, it's very small. They stress me out though, especially seeing them thin. I know they start thin. You don't just naturally, you don't just come out fat. Well, I came out kind of fat. But Pac-Man frogs, basically they die a lot. They're just born to die pretty much. Uh, I've owned one Pac-Man frog personally. He died just randomly. I, I bought him on Craigslist. I was driving to the guy's house and on the way he said, one of them died. Like literally ass I was on the way. It's not like he was scamming me because he told me beforehand and didn't I didn't pay for it. So I bought one Pac-Man frog and he died months later. And it's not just me. I've heard so many people that I know have had Pac-Man frogs die. Even if they're healthy and fat, they just like overnight they get skinny and flip and die. Pac-Man frogs are not kept that much compared to other species. But if, if I compiled all the messages I've gotten of my animal died, why? Like out of nowhere, it's always Pac-Man frogs. It's so weird. I don't. I don't know. He's cute though. I don't know. Four stars. I only know how to rate just a random Pac-Man frog. Moving on to. Oh, I think we saw this before. Outdoor Tegu habitat. It's looking good. I can't really rate it because it's still not done. If I came across this in the woods, I would be like, "What have I stumbled upon? And how do I get out of here as soon as possible?" Got a 10-gallon conversion. It looks kind of silly. A oh, 40 gallon, 40 gallon breeder conversion. I'm my. I'm completely like perspective is off. Let's give it a chance though. Got dirt, got like cocoa fiber, cypress mulch. Is that pine needles? Looks like a lot of this is like sourced from outside maybe, like the branches. You have uh, like Christmas tree pine. I don't know what it's called. Is that real? It looks real. Maybe it's fine. You don't really say anything about it. Um, even though there's a lot of rep, this is for a corn snake. Even though there's a lot of reptiles that live in pine and cedar forests, my understanding is that there's enough airflow to the point where it's pretty much fine, but the fumes from pine and cedar get so strong in captive small areas that they can cause, I think, respiratory infections. You can tell that I don't know much about this from firsthand. It's just stuff that I've read, but I've never seen anyone actually put pine in an enclosure. I'm curious if it reacts to it or not. So enclosure itself, not I, I don't know. It's, it's It looks... It looks like it works. It's just not very attractive. I'm gonna throw a three star on it. I've got questions, but it's pretty cool. Oh, wow, the latest setup. I think I'm at max capacity for now. This is a very uh, pleasing room. The the way the light kind of shimmers off the freshly polished wood. I don't know if it's polished, but this is neat. This is a cool, pretty cool room too. I hate I hate how rooms will have like the. This isn't related, but the roofs that kind of taper in. But as long as you actually have a normal height, it's great. Because otherwise, I bump my head on it, like in my old bedroom. But this this is a, a nice, um, a, a very nice office. Is it the nicest? I don't know. I actually like this one quite a bit. It's just, it, it has a surprisingly cozy feeling. A lot of them feel like you're living in a pet go or living in a zoo, which I don't know why anyone would want to do either of those things. But this is like living in a cozy little 
little reptile then. I'm in a good mood. The first one put me in a good mood. It's getting a five star. Let's see how many five stars we can rack up today. Very different, but also pretty neat room. It's very um, modern with the little, little Etsy shelves on like Amazon shelves, whatever. These are just, I, I've used these tubs. I don't, I mean, mine weren't blue. I think they were yellow, but these it's, it looks like it's just a tub turned on its side with some screen like from Home Depot. And it's surprisingly, oh, they got it from Lowe's. For this just to be like cheapo tubs, these are really aesthetically pleasing. I actually like this quite a bit. I like the spacing. This is actually an interesting coffee table. Where on it, they, these are cool. And it's, it's, a, it's affordable. I'm giving it five stars. You know what? Three five stars in a row. Or not in a row, but in an episode. <laughs> okay, well, I don't own a reptile, but want to be included, so I drew these. It's pretty cute. Thanks for sharing. Four stars. <laughs> oh, okay. What is that? Is that his? Are we looking at a hedgehog? I'm so confused. There's no way that's a hedgehog. Oh wait, wait. Do they have tails? Oh wait, they have tails. That is not, in fact, hedgehog junk. Everyone. I know that was not just me. Questioning that. Thank you for sharing. Three stars, I guess. Talitha's new setup. I don't know who to. Wait. This is um. Oh, this is the same person. It's just slightly changed. Okay, cool. I didn't actually notice. Um, still five stars. Yeah, it's the same enclosure it looks like to me. Oh, this is a nice picture. Cool lighting. Oh, it's an image of each enclosure. I was like, why do you keep posting the same image? They all look super similar to me. Okay, they, well, they're a little bit different. I got some slightly different backgrounds. There's, ooh, oh. Okay, that's cool. It's pretty neat how they all match a similar theme. It's actually quite nice. And it doesn't completely take over your living room. Like I said before, it's kind of nice when people's rooms aren't just looking like a discount Petco, so this is nice. Uh, but still, look, you've had a lot of competition. I'll give it four stars. It's cool. Oh, we got a rimless tank. We've only seen a few of these in the series. What is this for, though? I'm gonna guess a leopard gecko. I just have a feeling. It is, it's a leopard gecko. Something about the rimless is just very satisfying. I guess it's kind of like a rimless TV, just more minimal, more clean. Uh, I wonder if it's custom made. It must be. Enclosure itself, it's fine, I guess. I mean, yeah, I don't know why I'm being negative. It, it looks, it looks fine. I don't know why I don't like it that much. I feel kind of bad that I don't like it, but I don't know why. It's, it's, it's cool. It's, th but I want to give it. I don't want to give it more than three. I, I can't tell you why. I feel kind of bad for some reason. It's fine. I don't know. It's fine. Got a tour, the, the elusive aquatic turtle setup in an um, in a rating video. I almost said unboxing video. Okay, if sliders stayed this small, I think way more people would keep them. Cause what is this enclosure? This is like a twenty gallon, which just looks fine for their current size. They. Oh, well, apparently this was an upgrade. I was gonna say they will definitely need an upgrade soon, but apparently this is the upgrade because you've got two turtles. Okay, it's kind of small, but at least it's set up well. They've got underwater hiding spots. Well, they'll probably like to sleep. They've got a basking, okay. It's one of those times where I really like it at first and then I realize more things. I would want more basking spots for two turtles, but it's got a basking spot. That's a benefit. It's got the heat. It's got the UVB, and it's very clean. Got filtrage. Um, it's like it's it's four star material, but it's not quite there. It's three star for now, but it could get there. Oh, that is a monitor, a very big monitor, I believe. What? And a very small enclosure. Oh, it's a big enclosure. Maybe it's a small monitor. Okay, I thought he was gonna like take up the whole thing, but I guess I don't know. It still seems kind of small. I don't know. Look, I've never kept a black-headed monitor. I'm just going to base it on his looks. It looks neat. It's three stars, though. I don't know. Moving on. <laughs> um, we've got, I'm going to guess a crusty. Yeah, it's a crusty. It's cool. It's very full. I think some people are scared to, like, fill up their tanks like this. It's all, like, fake plants. I mean, whatever. You've got your food. you got your water. For crusties, I like to put the food and water up higher. I think, I, I would imagine crusties in the wild don't really want to go low. Like, the pro their one advantage in life is probably the fact that they can climb. But, I mean, hey, as long as he's eating and drinking, it's fine. It's cool. It's But it's, it's like a 3.5. We've seen some very cool crusty enclosures. I think it looks like he's got everything he needs. So I say keep it as is. You really don't need to change anything. I just, you know, there's a lot of fake plants. The fake, you know, I don't got to justify myself. We're moving on, everyone. To a kind of awkward angle, we have part of a thigh and mostly carpet. But some reptile in the picture. We have a ball python uh, and a... 
an enclosure. I don't know what's up with these handles. It looks like a converted shelf, like pull out shelf. It's got glass, it's got plastic. So the, the plastic I presume is for humidity, which kind of looks dry in there anyway. Be careful with this plastic, it's pretty close. But my guess, I could be wrong, my guess is this is UVB and this is a ceramic heat emitter based on the fact that they're both on, but this one's not illuminating. And those things get really hot. They get like 500 degrees. If that lamp touches that, it might actually melt and catch fire. So yeah, just my recommendation. It looks kind of weird though. I can't really see it. It's two stars, honestly. Wait, is this, this is the same person. Two posts in one video. Holy heck, it's gonna be sad if they're both not good. Why are there so many water stains on this for a leopard gecko? Wait, this is like the same enclosure. It's got the weird shelf things. I mean, I guess it could have been used for something else in the past. Why did, I am not a leopard gecko. Why did you, anyway, there's so many water stains. Uh, not how I would set up a gecko. It's also two stars, I'm sorry. You got four total. You can pretend you got four stars. Uh, bird, just a b bigger and stronger every day. I'm very thankful for this bird being brought into my life. Has helped me focus on something besides my ex and other individuals. Definitely found him at a perfect time and couldn't be more pleased. Hashtag wildlife. What? Wait, that's such a wholesome message, but I am equally confused as that is wholesome. You found a, I don't know what kind of bird this is. You just found them and now you just have them. Can you just do that? Can I just go outside and just take a bird? And the bird's like, okay, I've been taken. I'm here now. I really want more context. Thank you for sharing. I don't know what I'm looking at though. <laughs> He's cute. Cause a shout out to Roger. <laughs> I don't know. What is, oh my God, that kind of scared me. For a second, I thought it was something else gonna have to be censored. I believe it's just rats. I would have kind of existential confusion keeping the predators and the prey. They're really dang ugly though, two stars. What is up with this glass? Or maybe it's plexiglass, but it's so scratched. What did you, this is like, I know when people say scuffed, they're usually like bad. This is just legitimately the most scuffed glass I've ever seen in my life. It's like someone was trapped in it and all they had was very sharp fingernails. And what, it's kind of creepy. It's like these fairies were trying to escape overnight and they've just been scratching the glass. And they're like, oh God, we can't get out. He's waking up, we gotta go pretend to just be wholesome fairies. This creeps me out a lot. I don't like it, man. It's, it makes me uncomfortable. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm not rating it. I think I'm gonna get a curse from this enclosure. Oh, we gotta turn our head, everyone, to not finished. I don't know why so many people post unfinished enclosures, unless it's a cool one, like, this like yeah that's cool but this is just i didn't need to see those rats again it's just it's it's wood it's a wooden closure it's the cheap i said some things i probably shouldn't have said in the last episode about the things i would do to that nice smooth wood i wouldn't do a thing to this wood it's the rough little cheapo look i i get it wood's been expensive i don't know what i'm looking at though moving on two and a knoll terrarium. I haven't had a knolls in a while. There he is, just chilling. I like the pothos. I like the way it's all just reaching up to the uh, the lights. It's kind of cute. What kind of a are these? Night on? Nope, that's a green. No, it's a brown anole. Is that a night anole? No, it's not night anole. Green anoles. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, it's fine. I don't know. It's it's three stars. And quail. All right, you wait. Quail, wait, quail in a vivarium. Can you do this? Can you just keep them inside? All of them were incubated, hatched, and brooded in my wooden vivarium. Or maybe they're not a, no, they look pretty big. Huh, I never thought about keeping them inside. They're so loud, the quail are louder than any other animal, like near here, they're, they scream and I can hear from it. They'll just like do this loud, long chirp. I don't know if they're like, I'm horny or if I'm hungry. I don't know what the difference is either, but okay, I learned something. We had quite a few uh, non-reptile animals. I guess ultimately it doesn't have to be reptiles. I say a reptile enclosures your rooms, your reptiles themselves. I guess just expand it to animals themselves with the Instagram tag, go herping review. Cause that'll be it for episode 16 of reading reptile stuff. Pretty nice lineup today. Um, I think it's funny how there were a lot of really nice ones this week or the, the last week. It was like, eh, okay. But thanks for sharing, everyone. That'll be it for this video. I'm Alex, and thanks for watching.